A suspect in a shooting at an apartment complex near Denver was arrested Thursday and taken to a hospital along with a female victim after a four-hour standoff during which gunfire hit cars, other buildings, and apartment units, police said. After officers negotiated with the suspect, they forced their way into the apartment at the Arista Flats complex in Broomfield where he was holding a woman hostage and arrested him, said Rachel Haslett, a spokeswoman for the Broomfield Police Department. Haslett said an officer fired his weapon inside the apartment, but she didn't say whether it struck anyone. She said she didn't know how many shots were fired during the standoff. A lot of people were in danger, said Haslett, who didn't release the suspect's name or age and didn't know what weapons he might have used. The nature of injuries to the suspect and victim wasn't immediately known. The standoff took place at the apartment complex as people were getting ready for work in Broomfield, a mostly middle-class city of about 75,000 people roughly 15 miles northwest of Denver. Authorities sent out a phone alert warning residents to shelter in place or evacuate from the area. Nate Shamel, who lives across the street from the Arista Flats, said he heard sirens and saw police with rifles cocked across the street who told him to stay inside. An officer later told him to evacuate. As he did, he heard gunfire, he said. about 6 34 this morning officers were called to the arista flats apartments that's what you can see behind us in the distance surrounded by that crime scene tape for a disturbance uh, when they got to one of the units inside the apartment they heard a male making threats and shortly thereafter they heard gunshots it became very 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 unsafe for those officers within minutes as he was shooting not only at surrounding units but also into the parking lot. That is why we called it an active shooter situation as there were a lot of people that were in danger. An emergency reverse notification in Broomfield, we have a lookout alert system that was immediately sent out to residents and people in the surrounding area asking them to shelter in place. SWAT responded along with crisis negotiations. We had response from other surrounding law enforcement agencies. I can confirm he and one female victim have been taken to a local hospital. I do not know the extent of their injuries at this time. We do have one person in custody. He did fire and it did hit vehicles, other buildings and other units. So this is going to be an active crime scene for a while because we have to process where those gunshots went. I do not have an age or a name of the suspect who is aiming for our officers as well. That is why we call this active shooter. I got a lot of questions from the media initially. Is this a barricaded hostage situation or is this an active shooter? And initially it was both. I mean, we had somebody who was actively firing at our officers, other so a lot of people were in danger. We made a forced entry, officers did. At least one officer fired his weapon. So there was an exchange um, of gunfire at that point. Um, I don't know the extent between the suspect and the officers. I just know at least one officer did fire his weapon and then we were able to take him into custody. All of our Broomfield officers wear body-worn cameras, and if they have their weapons drawn, then that automatically initiates the body cams to begin.